Okay, I am gearing up to do a full wrap water slide. Um, so I'm getting some water in a cookie sheet because it's big enough to hold a full wrap. I'm gonna grab my paper towels. I have a little Dollar Tree um, silicone makeup brush. So slide that a little bit. I have my cradle. I have a prepped white cup. And I have my image. Now, if you're offended by sweary things, this might not be the video for you. This is a mandala image created by, um, I think it's Warhorse Designs on Etsy. I would have to look it up. I know her by her real name. I've interacted her with her in the group so many times. But um, this is the purple version. When you buy the purple version, you also get a black version. Um, I'm working on a different cup for the black version, but it's it got all kinds of sweary things on it. So that is printed and sealed. I'm going to start it soaking. Um, I'm not going to tell you the bad words. But I will link to this on her Etsy down below in the description. So she does all kinds of um, F this, F that, um, BS, sweary, sweary uh, mandalas and stuff. She's quite talented. Um, her name is Joey. I won't tell you her last name because not my place to do so. Um, but if you're in any of the Facebook groups, there's a pretty good chance you've interacted with her at some point. You may have also seen her on TikTok. I do know she is doing her own sublimation cups with this particular image. And, uh, so many people wanted the image that she created it for the rest of us. So, and I already botched this image once today. I... <laughs> cut it in completely the wrong spot so hopefully I don't mess this one up because I am running low on printer ink and won't get a third chance so I do want to get this wrinkle out before I go any further if I feel pretty good about my placement I will just work that out a little bit. Um, this is sized for a MakerFlow 20 ounce, like straight from the download. The black one, when I moved it over to my thing, was a different size. So, and you actually get four files with this. Um, two of them had like a blocked out center section where you could add a name or whatever. So I thought that was kind of neat if you wanted to write over it for your sublimation. So that is on there. That went on there super nicely. Thankfully I'm going to use my little squeegee tool and get any excess water out. It's pretty seamless on the back side. I do have a slight overlap, but that's because this is going straight on spray paint. If I had a layer of epoxy, I probably wouldn't have that seam. Um, but when you're doing a full wrap, it's fine to not go over an epoxy cup. If you're doing smaller sections of water slide, you're going to want to go over epoxy. So, squeegee it out. And I don't know that I can get this to focus for you to read any of this or not. But it's pretty inappropriate. Um, I like it. I'm not going to read it. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and let this dry, and then we will get it under epoxy in a couple of hours. A 
Okay, we're going to get the epoxy on this one. I'm going to use the girl's best friend diamond dust cheat from It's Pretty Personal. Um, just because I haven't used this one on anything in a while. So, and I'm only going to use a tiny, tiny bit, like barely any on this one. So, just going to get it mixed in. Well, get it on here. Okay, so there we go. I'm just going to let you see some of these sections, if you can. I'm not going to read them out loud. But, there it is. Uh, I think it's beautiful. So, that is it for this one. Thanks for watching.